Good morning, welcome back to Loving Love Mallorca. Today I've gone a little bit further afield down to a place called Portra Petra, which is on the east coast, just near Calador all around there. So come and have a little look to see what we can find. Today we're going to be looking around the port obviously with the boats. We will show you where the locals live and just a little bit of in between. Look at those lovely houses up there, townhouses, etc. Lovely views they've got, haven't they? I love these restaurants. I've got little fixtures and fittings. You really don't see this sort of thing very often at all, do you? Just like everywhere else on the island, it's, it's very quiet, as I imagined it just would be. of Pedra that I did make a film out of last year which is sort of quite a nice little place just quite near Manicor. There's a lovely view when you walk down to the end of the um, port. On the island there's some terrific restaurants and cafes and bars but sometimes it's just nice to sit there with a nice view bring a few sandwiches and um, a flask of tea can of coke or whatever and just sit there and make the most of what we've actually got i think these blow up boards are excellent fun so i came around the corner i saw this lady here blowing it up and within minutes she's in the water having fun next to where i was having my drink and my sandwiches I noticed a few steps. Normally I climb up the steps you get a really nice view, don't you? And the top of these steps is no exception. So when I'm making these clips, as you can see, I'm putting my mask down, but every, every, all the other times I've got it up as you should be. So we're just making a, a move away from the boats now, the porch itself. We can have a quick look around town. I'm not sure what else to offer, but it'd just be nice to have a look around somewhere else, won't it? It's so strange to feel like this when you're here. I mean, it's really nice to have the quietness and the peaceful time to think and things, but obviously this isn't very good for the tourism part of the island, is it? It's like this everywhere, I'm afraid. Well, I found another set of steps. I always like to go up the steps because you never know what you're going to find at the top, do you? A view away. lovely actually you get halfway up there you, you pass all the locals houses and and they're really keeping these steps clean aren't they which is nice but the top of the steps isn't at all what I expected to see to be honest you've got like this football ground a couple of tennis courts over there and a children's 
play area just coming up here. But it's quite nice actually to be honest. They had reopened all the children's play areas but since they don't want people mixing, probably the same as Britain I should think, they don't want people mixing, children mixing, they've closed all the play areas off again. That's why I just came up from up there. So it's time to go back down the steps now, back towards the centre again. So I'm just heading back towards where I was when I started this restaurant there, overlooking the marina. So now I'm going to sit, just going to go around the corner and see where the, um, the locals live. Looks so lovely, doesn't it? With the sunshine on the, on the sea. Everyone on the island is making the most of having no holiday makers. So everywhere you look, there are people doing, doing work to their hotels, houses and things. It's quite a good idea really, isn't it? So now I've reached the centre of the, um, the port. That's the church there. And they've got a few shops just leading up this way. But it's a very nice little place to visit if you've got a car and you're around this way. So this is the east part of the island near Calo Dior and all around there, it's not that far away. If you get the opportunity, it's nice to have a little look off the beaten track and see what you can see. When you're walking up the high street, for a better word of it, I was a minute ago, you're really not that far away from the, um, the sea again. As you can see here, you can walk down to the port from here as well. I always find the best way to actually see the place is to actually um, have a walk around. I always think that days out on the island could be as cheap or as expensive as you like them to be. Like today, what I bought today is two rolls, a few cakes and a couple of cans of pop. And obviously a few drops of diesel and you can't get much cheaper than that, can you? Well, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget my Facebook page, Love and Love Mallorca. Thanks for avoiding hot Mallorca today, the end of September. Goodbye.